and welcome back to my channel my name is Anne I go by Yanni Yanni on Instagram and YouTube and on this channel we mainly talk about knitting uh, sometimes some other crafty things but mainly knitting um, so just for anyone that don't know me I am 26 I am French but I live in the north of the UK well north it's a whole debate. Uh, I live in Sheffield, so close to Manchester and Leeds. For people that don't know, it's quite nice. It's next to the peaks. It's a very nice, breathable city. Um, and I knit a lot. So today's video is going to be about my autumn knitting plans. And it feels really odd to talk about, you know, big jumpers and stuff like that. I'm literally wearing a skirt. We are the eight of september and it's about like 25 degrees it's it doesn't sound like it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot uh the uk is widely unprepared for hot weather and as soon as it gets above 25 um it's just suffocating i think it's obviously an island and it's very very humid and just it makes it not as breathable as you know climates in parts or whatever i know at the minute it's like 33 where i'm from um but i think the the houses are built for that kind of weather here absolutely not um it's okay in my house um i don't have ac or anything i just i don't know it's all right it's breathable i think i'm kind of used to that kind of weather anyway so yeah Anyway, all of that being said, we're going to go into some very warm knits and it just feels bizarre to talk about it. But we had a, a little glimpse of uh, of autumn um, a couple of weeks ago, so this is not too um, too out there. And I, ha I had some plans already and some ideas of what I wanted to do. So we're going to chat about that. So what prompted this video, apart from obviously autumn arriving at some point and me already having some, you know, ideas of stuff I want to do, um, is that this morning uh, I got a lovely wool delivery. Um, I've ordered some wool. They are actually a birthday gift, like a little bit in advance from my lovely partner. So thank you, Julien. That's so kind. Um, I did choose the wool, so th there was no surprise in, in that gift, I just, you had no idea what to get me, I was like, actually I need some yarn, so if you want to pay for it, feel free, so that was kind of the, the ID, and so this morning it arrived, um, so I ordered two, well, three types of yarn, uh, in quite large quantities, because what we're going into for the next few weeks are big, big project. So the first one and the one I'm, I'm equally excited but I think this is a different kind of excitement is I'm actually test knitting for um, a, a designer so it's a Woolsmith knitwear on Instagram and she does she, she has a few patterns already out uh, I'm test knitting for a new one which I've been obsessed with for months. I, I think it just popped on my you know like for you page on Instagram a month ago a green cable like modern take on cable bell sleeve um, turtleneck ish jumper and I've been dreaming about this I think I have it saved three or four different times before I even you know like follow that knitwear designer because I was like that's insane that's insane that's insane um, so when she called out for testers, I, you know, I was that annoying, annoying uh, follower. I literally messaged her. I'm like, I want to be on that um, test knitting, so please, please consider me. And then I applied, and she replied like, Yeah, of course. Um, I'm testing for the size L. Um, so I'm, I'm not like small. I usually wear a medium or, or large, but I do have like a larger breast. Uh, so circumference so I was within the large uh, size um, grading so and then there's positive ease which I think she recommended like up to like 20 centimeters and I'm like on 10 around my bus my um, breast size so I think I'll be it will be like a beautiful oversized knit and I think I've 
made the wrong decision so many times when it came down to choosing the sizes. I'm like, oh, I'm just afraid it's going to take too long because of the bigger size. And, and I never actually do any oversized knit. I don't know. There's some kind of a, maybe it's like internalized, some kind of like back from the 90s where you wouldn't even admit you've gone a size and that's still happening in that way. I don't know. I'm completely happy with my body. This is not what I mean, but maybe it's like leftovers from that. Uh, so I was like, no, I'm not an L, I'm not a large, I'm a medium, but no, 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 I am a large and that's completely fine and it works for my measurements. So this is the size I'm going to test and for that, all of that being said, just to show you the yarn, sorry I went on a ramble, but I've decided to, for that one uh, to go for um, a mix of this one, so I'm going to help the Cascade 220 fingering weight, so it's a Peruvian high wool, um, wool, a Peruvian highland wool uh, yarn with uh, just a kid silk uh, mohair from drops and they are actually quite a good match. Um, this is slightly richer in colour, this is slightly more subdued. I've not swatched yet, she's not sent me the pattern yet so I'm going to do it tomorrow uh, but I'm <laughs> beyond excited I can't wait I will cake this today just to have it like nice and ready I might quick cake two of them actually yeah and this is my first ever test knit so this is exciting I've always wanted to do it but I was kind of waiting for that right pattern to come out and this is 100% the right pattern hopefully so this is what I've got and then another project that I've already told you about actually I've told you about this one but I didn't know I was uh, selected then um, is the Drift Jacket by Rose Knitwear and I've ordered the recommended yarn uh, for it um, I've ordered the Drops and this uh, and I got 10 balls of that and it's um, no it's not 100% wool it's 65% wool 35% alpaca and I think this is a worsted weight so it, it's quite thick um, I don't know how I feel about this yarn this is not the kind of like it's just two ply slightly like lightly twisted yarn so I'll see how I like it but I, um, I've seen pictures of it being worked and it looked really really nice so I'm excited and I like the fact that it's there's a bit of alpaca in it and it's this nice oversized once again quite modern take on cable jacket and I was planning on um, if I managed to finish it uh, Hopefully I'll finish this by, let's say like end of October. I would love to wear this as some kind of a coat. We'll see. <laughs> it's a big jacket and this is a big, big, big project. But all of that being said, I've done a really good job lately. I've been monogamous with my knitting. Um, but once again, that being said, it was mostly socks. So I've managed to like pull um, pairs of socks in like four days which I think is pretty good in my opinion so yeah these are the two projects that I had in mind and that I have purchased the yarn for another few stuff I could show you from from my stash that I'm like oh I could do that with it is those two yarns I really want to use for socks just because they are like I think what well, this one is obviously pure autumn vibe. This is the wool edit by Leng Yarn in colorway. To be fair, I don't think it's going to have an actual name. I think it's going to be numbers. Yeah, uh, two 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 four, and it's a um, yarn. It's a sock wool yarn. Well, it's a sock yarn with uh, forty five percent cotton. 42% um, virgin wool and 13% uh, nylon which I've never ever ever tried uh, sock wool sock yarn with cotton in it so I'm super super excited I think I would have to like think about what kind of yarn I want to use but with that kind of slightly very highly variegated kind of wool um, which it's quite similar to a yarn I'm using at the minute, just on, in different like colour schemes. I feel like it would be nice to break it up with just a plain white. 
and do maybe stripes. I'm not sure. I think it might be very, very busy. But there's a pattern that I've been eyeing up. Um, oh, I don't know the, the name, so I'll just put it down there. Um, with this nice, like, little leaf motif, and it's playing on the pearls rather than um, the stuck in it, the right side of the fabric, if you see what I mean. And I like that idea. And I think for those highly variegated walls, it works nicely. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean because I'm using something quite similar at the minute. I'm currently working on a pair of socks. Um, and the reason is, I was going on for like autumn colorway, but when the sun came back and the temperature was so high, I just kind of craved, I was like, ooh, let me throw on one last very, very colorful knit. Don't know why. It is what it is. So this is the yarn I'm on about, where it's the same principle as this one where there's um, two strain, two, the, the two twists, the two plies are two different colours every time. So it's a very similar, it's similarly done. The exception of this one is obviously it, this is a more of a degradé situation. This is I think a little bit more random. I'm not sure, I think maybe it's just the way this one is wind up. Uh, maybe it's that, I don't think so. My mom has knitted a pair of stuff with that and she showed me but she we've done our own like um facetime so the quality was a bit oof. yeah but this is what it would this one looks like knitted so this is the right side and i'll show you the wrong side and for some reason on those highly uh variegated wrong side um wall sorry i'm obsessed with the wrong side That's that, it's so pretty. So I'm thinking for that wool, if if it goes quite smoothly and if it's not like too, you know, dark and, and light and it's if, if it's still somehow unified, it's hard to say, but basically if there's not too much variegation and the motif shows through, then I think the leaf little sock that I show you could be a good match. If not, maybe pair it with a white um, could be really good as well. So this is what I plan on doing and I love to have a sock project on the go anyway, uh, just to carry with me on my break when I'm going or when I'm on the bus or whatever in public transport because it's nice, it's easy, it's mindless for me now after a while. So this is the ID and also I have this little bad boy that I also want to knit up this autumn. Um, it gives Gilmore vibes. Like that purple. Ooh, I think purple is one of the colour that is highly used in uh, Gilmore. So yeah, it's a hand uh, dyed wool from Hey J, um, and it's 80% uh, superwash blue face leather and 20% nylon, and it's 100 gram. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that on. I don't have a pattern in mind. I could just do, probably won't do a vanilla sock because I find them a bit boring after a while. Um, but with like such nice luxurious wool, it doesn't, I don't mind a vanilla, like all of a stock in it sock. It's when it's just one colour that I'm like, oh, it's a bit boring. When, when with those, I'm kind of like, kind of waiting for the next pop of colour to arrive. So maybe, maybe it'll be just like a simple vanilla sock. But this is um, something else I want to use up from the sash um, this autumn. Anyway, moving on to the little project I have in mind uh, for this upcoming autumn. But considering autumn is, what, three months, I already have a massive all over cable um, jumper to do and a jacket will I have time for those next project probably not I'll present them anyway uh, oh I forgot I had a coffee I think this is my third of the day I don't know if you can tell anyway so I also want to make myself I'm coming out with the big big plans but I think it's the same for everyone when 
right after summer where knitting had been more sparse or working on smaller projects um, the ambition seeps through and now you really want to cast on those those big jacket and and I want to do a set I want to do a bee mitten and scarf set so I had a look just now um, just to I'm not gonna cast it on now I don't have the yarn for it um, but I just had a look um, on Ravelry see what what they were I'm obsessed with mittens don't know why I found them I find them so very cute and I bought some from like an ethical shop and it, it, it was like with Peruvian high wool and it, it's really nice in alpaca and I've been wearing them quite often. I'd like the set to be in all one colour because um, I think it would look really really nice don't know what colour it will be I think um, I think this is where I'm going to need your help I wear a lot of colours I don't mind colour I actually should probably look into wearing less colour and have more like timeless piece I'll show you what my uh, winter coat looks like and you'll <laughs> You understand what I mean? <laughs> so, um, this last, um, I don't know what it was like, last year I uh, thrifted for £40, which at that time I was like, that's a bit funny. Now that I think about it, this is such a good deal. Uh, I thrifted a beautiful tweed coat. So, let me show you. This is my tweed winter coat. It's 100% wool. Uh, there's still the label. It's from Harris Tweed, which is a very, very famous tweed uh, brand. Um, I don't really know when it was from. I could research the label to see uh, when it was from. I'll try to insert a video of me wearing that coat so you can, can kind of see where it lands. It's slightly big on the shoulders, but Honestly, it's too beautiful and I wear it all the time anyway. Uh, but it's this beautiful 100% virgin wool, Scottish wool, hand woven uh, coat. And it hopefully it shows the actual colours. Um, it's dark, darkish blue, purpley blue, turquoise and darkish green and apple green. And it's so beautiful and the inside is like this satin like fabric which I could I should probably wash and then it has those beautiful details around um, the neckline and that follows through onto the pockets um, and yeah it's my pride and enjoy and it was only 40 pound and it's in pristine condition um, and uh, it's quite long, so it's a perfect like winter jacket. I also have a grey version, like not trench coat, but this kind of jacket, like uh, buttons down the side and very classic piece. Um, and I do wear it as well. I just don't wear it as much as this one. I think this one is like, it's a statement piece and I could just throw it on and go outside and know that I will look amazing and better than everyone else. And it's it's nice it's a nice feeling to have i recommend anyway i'm not that weird of a person i actually um, i'm quite humble i don't know why i sound so braggy on online actually look at looking at this that's a perfect match but this is not um the color i want to go for so last winter obviously after buying this i was like oh i think i should go for green winter accessories and try to knit those so i made what is it I made this, um, I think it's the Oslo hat by Petite Knit, but I did it too big and I've barely wore it. I'm not even blocked it to be fair uh, because I know it's going to grow because I think it's super wash. Uh, but this is what it looks like. I'll put it on really fast. But yeah, see, like it, it has like fit issue. It's okay, but I just, I'm not a big fan of whatever's happening there. And when you look at them next to each other, it's not quite the right green. The thing is, it's a lovely green, and I'm not going to waste the yarn. I'm not going to not do anything about it. So 
So I'm thinking of remitting this just for the sake of, you know, not wasting the yarn, not wasting the, the purchase of the pattern, which is a nice pattern. There's nothing wrong with the pattern. I've just done it a bit, I don't know, I've done it wrong. Don't really know why. I still have, so this only took, this how only took 100 gram of uh, that DK weight yarn. And this is the Yorkshire Spinners Color Lab in bottle green. And it's 100% British wool. It's a nice yarn. Uh, it's a nice yarn. Um, I enjoyed working with it. Um, No issue with the yarn whatsoever. Uh, I think the fit problem is either I really thought I had a massive head, which I really do not. I don't really know what went wrong. It was a year ago. Um, so I think I'll, when I knit this again, I'll do a better job at making sure um, I'm knitting the right size. And I knew that it was too big when I knitted it. I knew it, I had a feeling, and I was like, it's fine, you've already worked however many hours on it, don't don't worry, it'll fit. Um, and I did it, and it was way too big, so I ripped back and finished it again. And still not perfect, and I think, yeah, like the details are not really good. I don't know if I've improved in any way since then, so I don't know if the next one's going to be any better uh, but yeah this is this is on the please finish me this autumn or potentially winter uh, pile but that does not fit the issue of it's not quite the right green for that coat it could work it's fine I have the yarn for it so I might as well use it maybe uh, and I think with ripping back this one redoing it we'll use less yarn um, obviously and then I still have a hundred gram for that one. So I could do some knitting. Probably won't have, no, I probably won't have enough to do even a soapy scarf with whatever's left from the knitting. Could try. Could try. You never know. What if only the mittens are only using 50 gram? Then that's enough to do tiny little scarf. Then I think it would look a bit weird, wouldn't it? Like having a big hat, some big fluffy mittens, and then the tiniest little scarf. Food for thoughts, I don't know. So yeah, that's option one. Option two, I want a mohair and whatever, like blend held together, mohair held together with um, wool. Um, set so hat mittens and scarf another one how many does one person need I don't know but ideally I'd like it to go with this um, this coat but I don't think white would be that great of an idea you tell me I think if I were to go down one colorway so more like a chartreuse or an apple green color that would fit really well with this coat dark brown nah it's not really my vibe that's the thing my other winter coat is this very you know classic jean jacket with inside is wool it's wool lined and I wear double denim on a daily basis I'm nothing against double denim I'm a I'm a lover of double denim. I just think it looks amazing. Whatever you wear, if you wear some kind of a, I don't even, I don't ever even overthink it. I don't know who came up with that rule that double denim is not a good combo. Don't know who did that because he, he was obviously insane and then everyone's been insane following that rule. Anyway, this is my crazy fashion uh, take. But yeah, I wear double denim all the time. But I do think that a brightly coloured accessory along with that double double denim look that we'll mostly wear every other day in winter would be welcome in, in my wardrobe. 
So this is another idea. If I were to go with um, apple green, it would absolutely go with denim. And I think this this kind of works. That color also works with denim. And you see what I mean. So my wardrobe kind of fits that blue blue vibe. Um, so I just need to find colors that are compatible with blue. That makes me happy. That you know makes small little Anne from when she was eight very happy and think I would look cool and this is the whole point of me knitting my own things anyway I'm going yeah this this has gone too far my dilemma is working on a scarf on a stocky neck scarf sounds like death to me and I would rather I would rather not, if I can avoid it, I would rather not. I'd rather have some kind of a motif to make the knitting compelling. If not, there's no chance I'm going to finish it. If it's a all over stocky net or with the smallest little detail that I would, you know, grasp within two seconds and it just won't make it interesting for me. So I need to look into scarf pattern that have some kind of an interest. And along that, I want everything to match because it, if not, it's no fun. So I also need to make sure I enjoy that because if not, I'll be doing it on three different, well, four, counting two mittens, um, on, on four different objects. So I've looked into some uh, stuff over on Ravelry um, and I think the easiest thing for me to do is look at mittens and potentially hats patterns, find one that I like and then use whatever motif is used on those to transfer onto a scarf because scarf is just one long rectangle isn't it I don't think it will be hard to apply whatever motif is on um, the hat or the mittens to the scarf I don't think so I might be proven wrong <laughs> we'll see but I've discovered this um, this knitwear designer on Ravelry while I was doing my little research um, and she sounds really really cool and I've really enjoyed the photo she took and she did a really good job at making an entire Ravelry page just a pleasant experience um, I would even say the vibes were pleasant and I appreciate that so I've created a bundle on a Ravelry for all of the winter accessories so a lot of them a lot of the ones that I'm going to mention are all on there if you want to have a look so it's Sophie Hagginson on a Ravelry Strike Sophie by Sophie Hagginson she's Norwegian I'm guessing because most of her patterns are available in English and Norwegian and she has a, the coolest little like it's not a set per se that's exactly what I need because that gives me a bit of um, leeway and she has those really cool mitten with let me pull them up if I find them yes so very it's called the better together mittens and it has um, a gradual like so it's ribbed but the ribbing follows through like that so it goes stuck in it in the I don't I don't know the words for whatever I'm trying but you, you can you see exactly what I mean so I think that gives me a bit of leeway to kind of figure out patterns I want to do do I want to do a rib scarf <laughs> no but she wears those mitten she made a hat kind of following with that kind of same like ribbing and so it looks like it's a set just thanks to that ribbing there is obviously cable on that hat that i'll show you now but because of the ribbing it ties everything together so then i just need to figure out what whatever scarf i can do and rib scarf including rib in a scarf i think shouldn't be too much of a struggle I don't think I don't know but I, I truly believe that those two patterns are really really beautiful so putting them out there for future me to consider 
another few ones that I've seen. So she has a few that I was quite interested in. Um, mainly that one and then she has the favourite beanie um, pattern for just a beanie. I also looked into some more like broken rib mittens and some cable mittens. Another pattern that drew my eyes is the Kino, it's called Kinos um, mittens by Tina Weitingen. She, uh, she, it looks like she's uh, from Finland and I don't know any Finnish so I'm, I'm so sorry if I butchered the, um, the, the name. Uh, I do apologize uh, and it's this very interesting uh, mitten pattern using where well, you could use scrap yarn um, and it has a bit of color work some stripes um, it's just a very cool mitten uh, using where well, you could use scrap yarn which you know is appealing I do have um, some scrap yarn and it's quite unique and it's cool I don't know it's cool we didn't go with the coat but would go with the gin jacket wouldn't it um so that's another idea and then i could just do one of those super cool uh scrap scarf which i've always always intended to do one i've just never got gotten around to do it um it's just a stockinette once again stockinette scarf does not um spark joy for me uh, it's just way too much knitting, isn't it? Just for like a long rectangle. There's no short row to entertain you or stuff like that. So, but maybe it would go quite nicely with the Sophie scarf. A scruffy Sophie scarf? Would that be nice? I don't know. And then beanie wise, once again, you could just do some stripes, some nice little stripes. I don't know. That could be cool. So, that's another idea if I want like a spark of, um, a spark of. You know, fun in my knitting. I think this is a pattern that I would 100% uh, consider. So yeah, when it comes to accessories, this is what what I have in mind. I also want to make some uh, mittens or gloves or fingerless gloves for Christmas for friends and family. I just enjoy doing them. It doesn't take me as long as socks. So it's to be considered because I will 100% be super late to make those gifts. So the next, the last two weeks of December is going to be me um, just knitting some, some mittens. All right, we'll see. I need to find some other easy thing to do. Maybe some hats. Hats are not that long to do if, if you if you got bulky weight. Um, maybe. Anyway. So that's kind of the ID when it comes to accessory. Another ID that I already mentioned on my podcast is, as you know, autumn or fall, as Americans call it, is Gilmore Girl season. It's, you know, autumn in a bottle. It's, you know, hot beverages, uh, East Coast, Northern America vibes. So very like pumpkin spice latte and it's warm and fuzzy and it's a beautiful show to watch and um i really enjoyed watching that i watched the first watch it for the first time last autumn and it just drew everything and it made me so happy about the seasons and i'm a very seasonal gal um and i've really enjoyed watching that show and on that show and i'm really watching it again because it's already september um Lorelai and then Rory is wearing this super cool like sheer which I'm guessing could be more hair um cardigan very like negativities cardigan with it, it's dark green and it has some kind of flower embroidery I don't really care for the embroidery part but I just really an, admire that jacket like very white uh y2k style really really cool and I think I could use that in my wardrobe, just a little, small little layering piece. I feel a bit more luscious because of the more hair, um, but still cool. And I could potentially wear it to work um, and not be like boiling hot, but still like nice and cozy. I don't know, but I, I've seen it and now I can't take my eyes off it. I've tried to find one on Vinted, uh, couldn't find it. so. 
you're just gonna have to make it so I've looked at some patterns there's, there's nothing that quite fit the bill but some of them are quite close so uh, let me have a look at the refs again um, I did talk about them in my podcast so if if you watch my podcast and you're watching this again sorry I'm kind of repeating myself there but honestly it could be a super cool project to work on so closest match and I think I'm going to talk about the close, the two closest match I could find is the uh, kindness um, kindness cardigan by Kim Hog Grievance sorry once again butchering if anyone's name um, and it's very it's a very cool uh, cardigan that can be either uh, tied button and then it's reversible so if you wanted to wear it with the tie at the back the button at the back and then have like a high neck um, sheer cardigan then you could and that's super cool so yes, this one the only issue with that one is you have to purchase the book to have access to that one pattern and I had to like kind of look through the other patterns and none of them really spoke to me so it's a bit annoying to have to buy a whole book just for one pattern but I have another option and it would be the Ivy uh, cardigan by Samantha Hall Rowan uh, which I think it's a bloggers collab with uh, Rowan but it has a bit of a um, lace detail at the front and so that could kind of mimic the flowers that she, Lorelai or, or Rory have on, on their cardigan so that was the other option and this one happens to be green and uh, so put two and two together I was like oh it's a close match actually looking at it probably not because it's stroke shoulder and I don't want that I really want to I don't remember how it's called in in step sh shoulder sleeves I don't have um, the proper vocabulary for that but anyway that's two of my project along that line Raw Knitwear also has um, beautiful mohair kind of um, see-through top once again as a layering piece it's not a cardigan so it's really much a sweater it's very very cool um, so that's also to consider kind of giving that vibe it's not a pure copy but you still get that vibe and if I were to choose the colour from that palette from the Gilmore Girl, Gilmore Girl uh, colour palette it could be really cool yeah I just checked and I've been chatting for a long time but considering autumn is only three months and I'm, I would be I will be working on some big projects I think this is enough and I'm not going to set myself with too much to do because if not I'll be disappointed but if I don't make all of those then it's fine it's completely fine winters you know fit the bill on many of those items as well so it's really appropriate if I don't do them all but yeah um, please send me your recommendation about colour uh, for that beautiful set um, this is my summer hair colour I get like it's not I'm not actually ginger I dye it but then with the Sun and everything it, this is basically my natural colour uh, so I will be dyeing it more on the gingery side um, so I think blues and greens would look amazing so this is kind of what to expect so what would you recommend for me to wear with that beautiful coat uh, there's not black because I would uh, I will not knit anything black I need to wrap it up because I need to go to work but uh, thank you very much for joining me please comment down below help me figure everything out um, I'm super excited about this project I love 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 autumn it's my favorite season so anything any good excuse to just stay at home and knit and look outside and and look at the beautiful trees is fine by me um, I wish you all a beautiful day um, please let me know what you're going to be working on I'll try not to like it too much so that I want to knit it as well because I won't have time but um, maybe it could be interval for winter anyway I wish you all a very good day 
uh, evening and weekend and I'll see you very soon. Thank you for joining me once again. Bye guys.